This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone. Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Electro Audio Spectrum. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. And a duration of 30 seconds. If your audio is 5 minutes longer, make sure to use the 5 minute duration. For demonstrating this tutorial, I am just using the 30 seconds duration. Hit OK, and then move to the first step. Import your audio file into your project. And place it on the timeline. Press L double time, to open the waveform. RAM preview this, and this is the audio I am using. Now right click on this audio layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it Audio Comp. And choose to move all attributes into the new composition. I will explain later, why we are pre-composing our audio file. Now create a new solid layer. I am calling it Audio Spectrum, and then hit OK. Here we are going to create a mask on it, so make sure your solid layer is selected, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. I am going to make a triangle here, but as of now, we don't have a triangle mask in After Effects. Let's see how can we create it. Make sure you have selected the solid layer, then go to the center of the composition, and click and drag your mouse like this. Press and hold the Shift plus Control, or Command key on your keyboard, and make a square mask something like this. Again go to the tools and select the Delete Vortex tool. Now keep in mind to delete this bottom left vertex point only, else the spectrum will look differently. And this is the triangle we were looking at. Now, select the Move tool, and then double click on any vertex to activate the Transform option. Again press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard, and rotate this mask so that it will rotate the 90 degrees exactly. And this is our triangle. Now hit enter, and then select these top anchor points. I am going to move them to the top, to make the triangle a little bigger. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, Change the audio layer to audio comp. I have created the audio composition, it is because, if we want to change the song to another one in this spectrum, we don't have to select the song individually. We can simply place our audio file in this audio composition, and everything will work perfectly. Now change the path to mask 1, and the spectrum will be visible on the triangle path. You can turn off the path visibility by clicking here. RAM preview this, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's adjust a few more settings. Change the start frequency to 1, and the end frequency value to 500. I am also going to change the frequency band value to 100. Let's change the thickness value to 2, and softness to 0%. Let's keep the white color for the spectrum, we will change it later. Here we have this side option, you can use any side you want. Side A, 
will display the spectrum inside, and side B will display the spectrum outside. I am choosing the side B option. Now select the audio spectrum effect, and then press Ctrl or Command plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Here change the display option to an analog line. And it will create this line spectrum. But my previous spectrum is not visible now. Don't worry we can fix it very easily. Scroll to the bottom, and click on this composite on original option. And the spectrum will be visible. Let's do the same for the top spectrum as well. Perfect. Let's change the thickness value to 1. Again select the audio spectrum effect, and make a duplicate of it. This time I am keeping the analog dots, instead of lines. Let's increase the maximum height value to something around 700, so that the dots will be visible. Let's change the thickness value to 3, to make the dots a little thicker. Play it, and this is how it looks now. Of course, you are free to use your own design, I'm just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Cool? Let's change the display option to side A, to display these dots inside of this triangle. I am also going to change the maximum height value to 500, so that it won't look that distracted. This looks much better now. Let's go to the next step. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the mirror effect. Make sure to place it right below the audio spectrum effect, and then I am going to change the reflection angle of it. So that the right side spectrum will repeat on this left edge. Click on this reflection center point, and then click right between the composition. But this is looking the same as the left side, so all we need to do is just change the reflection angle value to 180 degrees, and it will repeat the same on both edges. Let's also change the reflection center value to 960 and 540. This is the exact center of a 1920 by 1080 composition. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's add a small stroke on the edges of this triangle. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the stroke. Apply it right above the mirror effects, and this is how the stroke will look now. I am keeping a brush size of 1, and make sure to change the brush hardness to 100%. Let's keep the brush size value to 0.9, and this is looking much better. Let's move to the next step. Create a new solid layer, and call it the particles. Make sure to use the white color for it, and then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC star burst. Apply it onto the layer, and adjust a few settings. Change the size value to 50, and also change the spacing value to 25. Let's change the size value to 25, to make the particles a little smaller. If you play this animation, this is how the particles are moving. Let's again go to the effects and presets, and search for the CC radial fast blur. Apply it right below the CC star burst effect, and now the stars have this tiny trail which is creating the motion blur effect. But the motion blur value is showing on the opposite side. So I am going to change the speed to negative 1. And this is how it will look now. This is looking much better. Let's change the size value to 20, as well as the scatter value to 300. Now one thing you may have noticed. The edges of our audio spectrum are showing chopped, because of the mask we have created, so select the audio spectrum layer, 
and then press M to open the mask. Now change the mask to none, and it will show the complete spectrum. Cool? Fit it 100%, and now we are moving to the next step. Minimize all these effects to get some room. Now again go to the effect and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it to the audio spectrum layer, and place it right below all layers. I am changing the glow threshold value to 20%, and then make a duplicate of it. This time change the glow radius value to 100, and the glow intensity value to 0.5. Again make a duplicate of the glow effect, and this time change the glow radius value to a higher number. I am using a value of 300. Cool, let's add some color to it. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it color. Make sure to place it on top of all layers, and then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the curves. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the channel value to blue, green, or red. I am using the red channel, and then increase the red channel value to something like this. Let's add an S curve on it, to add some contrast in the color. Now switch to the green channel, and turned down its channel value. And this is how the particle looks now. In case you are not achieving the same glow effect, then go to the project panel, and right at the bottom, you will see this 16 BPC or 8 BPC option. Just click on it, and a new window will appear. Here change the color depth to 16 bits per channel, it will widen up the color range, and the colors will look more dynamic. I will make a video on the bits per channel option. And now we are done. RAM preview this, and this is how it looks now. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.